So for this video, I'm going to hopefully sway you on one of my favorite weapons in Iceborne, the Hunting Horn. I love the Hunting Horn in Monster Hunter World pre-Iceborne, but now it's my absolute go-to. Along with the Clutch Claw and stuff like that, there's been some additions as far as like song selection and even a new note that you can play where you spin your horn and you can get multiple hits on the monster. Between these two things and the absolute monster of utility, I'll definitely be using this through Iceborne in the main campaign. I'm going to go through a few case scenarios to highlight just how much power and control you can have over fights and how you can help your friends to even become behemoths and why you should give Hunting Horn a try. The first song I'm going to talk about is Environment Damage Negated. It can be useful in Elder's Reach, Miasma floating in the Rotten Veil, vale, and even the stamina draining air that's in the new Horfrost Reach. If you watch, you'll see that my health literally takes zero damage, and obviously that's going to open up space when you're fighting, and it's great for when you KO a monster and they fall into some kind of damaging environment, such as lava. It just feels fantastic to not have to worry about environmental damage. Another use for this song has been using it while I was gathering materials in Horfrost Reach, and then if I need to gather materials, say in somewhere like the Rotten Vale, I'll be able to use this to make things a lot less annoying. We'll be looking at multiple songs here, Recovery Speed and Extended Health Recovery. You saw me just get nailed by that poison spit, now look at my health. No items, no nothing, and look at it just staying stagnant and basically nullifying the poison. This can be extremely helpful, especially since you can only carry about five, I believe, of the antidote potions, so now you can completely leave those behind and that'll free up a spot in your items. Of course, you don't have to let it linger, but I wanted to make sure to give this alternative to the next song I'll be talking about. All ailments negated is exactly what it sounds like. No poison, no paralysis, no sleep, and don't quote me on this, but I do believe that it takes away stun as well. What you just saw in the video was me leading Viper Toby, a poisonous monster, over to an area of poison with me coming out fine and him becoming poisoned. Ailments are no joke in Iceborne, and if you're going to try Hunting Horn, I would absolutely recommend that you try to build a Teostra Horn as soon as you can. So you have that All Ailments Negated song in your back pocket. This next one is very straightforward, speed boost plus evade window up. I'm not the greatest dodger as you could tell from previous clips, but with this I take much less damage and I set myself up for easier knockouts. You'll notice yourself in much better positions when you use this song. Next we'll be looking at a literal super combo of songs, speed boost plus evade window up, max stamina up plus recovery, and stamina use reduced. So for this, take a look at multiple things. How fast I'm moving even when my weapon is drawn, how much stamina I have in the first place, how little stamina I use when rolling and running, and just how fast that stamina comes right back. And I wanted to give a small shout out to Stun Negated because in Master Rank, it seems if Kulu hits you with his rock, it's an auto stun but with this song, that's not the case anymore. Now, just imagine you have a buddy of yours or a fellow hunter that's one of those crazy dual bladers. Can you imagine the damage they could do in the amount of uptime they would have in demon mode when you apply all of these songs to their stamina gauge? It would just be an absolute massacre, and you would be the catalyst that made that happen. So those were just a very few of the songs that you can use to turn the tide in battle and bolster your fellow hunters. That was just the tip of the iceberg. I didn't talk about attack up, defense up, wind pressure negated, tool use drain reduced, movement boost, earplugs up, affinity up, muck, water, deep snow resist, health boost, sonic wave, elemental attack up, elemental effectiveness up, tremor negated, abnormal status attack increased, Light Negated, Divine Protection, 
health recover, and that's not even all of them. All of those things can be shared with your party along with some songs that can actually be laid down in a similar fashion to the health and affinity booster tools. You have so much power in your hand when wielding the hunter horn, and that's just going by the songs. It has incredible KO potential, and with the skill and decoration slots you'll free with these songs, the build possibilities are endless. The last thing that I want to make clear if you're going to try and use the hunting horn, full horn maestro is a must. And at master rank you can get a very convenient helm from great gyros that gives you full horn maestro if you don't have any decorations yourself and that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and it kind of swayed you uh if you were on the fence about trying the hunting horn to actually give it a shot but please do comment like subscribe do everything to help me out if you could and let me know if you've tried the hunting horn, or if you're going to, or if you're on the fence. Have a good night, and happy hunting.